Okay everyone, time to dive into the uh, Elite Dangerous Controls in this Part 2 episode. Scan detected. Oh, that is not good. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't win when I'm trying to do videos, I'll tell ya. So, we're back in the uh, the ghetto Elite Dangerous cockpit and we're getting stuck into some uh, deep space mining. I wouldn't call it that deep space to be honest, not compared to where some people go. Um, so we are in the uh, Gen Elleborg system, doing some mining in a uh, ring system. And I thought I would uh, take this time to do a quick video talk, to talk about the controls that we uh, sort of touched on briefly in regards to VR and where, you know, where it falls short and how you can uh, fix all the problems it has. So, we're going to start at the top. We're going to talk about the galaxy map because that's where the majority of the issues are in regards to VR. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, Xbox controller. It is a... The f As I was saying, Xbox controller, it is a freaking godsend when it comes to uh, the galaxy map in VR. So, I've set it all up, I've done the keys, I'm going to take you through how I've binded everything, and it may suit you, it may not, but you have this as a guide if you do want to use it. So. I've binded the galaxy map to Y on the gamepad, so that opens the galaxy map up. Xbox controller. Two analog sticks, perfect for doing this. So, basically, I've got my left stick binded for direction, so we can go forward, we can go back, we can go left, we can go right. Everything is great. And on the uh, right stick, we have our panning uh, and yaw. So you've got pretty much everything you need and it's quite intuitive it's very easy to do minute adjustments which is a really big problem with trying to use a joystick and so I've got my uh, right trigger set for going up and my left trigger for going down my right shoulder button for zooming in and my left shoulder button for zooming out incoming mission critical message mission can... failed yeah don't worry about that. Uh, you can flip them around if you want. I, for some reason, I like it this way. I don't know why, but I do. And the biggest issue that's left over with the Galaxy map once you start using an Xbox controller is the, the UI on the left. So, if we uh, want to interact with that, it is part of the Galaxy map. It's not a separate interface. It is all one thing. So everything you bind has to be done on this controller. You can't overlap any buttons in regards to what you're doing there and switching over to this and then using the other the direction pads and things like that. So I've used the, uh, the B and X buttons to navigate across the tabs and go back and go that way, that way, that way, whatever you want. And so basically, you go to the tab you want, and then you can use your uh, direction pad to go up and down. You do need the up and down, left, right, because you do need to uh, go across on some of the menus, like that one, or that one. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, the only other issue that you still have with the Galaxy map is that sooner or later, you're going to want to search for something. So, we're going to search for, I've already got something locked in, but let's search for that one, so Nagaru. So, you need to go to search, and then you've got to use your freaking keyboard that's in front of you, which is a bit hard, and... Nagaru. Nagaru 7, no. Nagaru. So we do that, and then we hit enter. And we're locked in. So, it is a bit annoying having to use the keyboard still, but 
is what it is. So you can select it, you can plot a route, and thanks to these uh, fantastic controls, you can go right in, you can jump across. It's it's really easy, believe it or not. I thought that I, when I started out with this game and trying the, the VR, I thought I was boned when I couldn't use my mouse because it was just doing my head in, but honestly, as long as you got your keyboard still to do searching, it's uh, it's quite easy. So you select what you want, and A just uh, selects, and yeah, everything is great. You can also use this uh, gamepad for interacting with the other game menus as well if you want to. Uh, it's completely up to you. And the game just crashed. Shit. Alright, so we're back. Jesus, this video has been an absolute pain in the ass. It's, it's the second time it's crashed tonight. This game has never crashed for me before. I don't know what the hell is going on. So this gives you an idea of the uh, the sheer amount of controls in this damn game. I mean, it's just it's just freaking nuts. So we go to the galaxy map and open it up. So basically, you can fill the galaxy map. Uh, sorry, you can fill the Xbox controller just with galaxy map stuff. That's how much stuff there is to do in this game. So yeah. It, Basically, RS is right stick, LS is left stick, and I've got a combination of joystick command setup and gamepad commands. You can use the joystick by all means if you want to at the same time, but it, it's just really, really, really hard to do. And yeah, you can have combinations of the both, obviously. You also need to customize a couple of mo a couple of buttons in the UI panel, just in regards to uh, navigating the UI. So I've got you know my my direction, my D-pad directions, and my A, B, and X buttons set up for panel tabs and things like that, uh, and for selecting, of course. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is for that, and yeah. But like I was saying, you can use the joystick, you can go that way, go that way, you can pan it up. You can most certainly do it, it's just... The joystick's not precise enough, unfortunately. You just... I mean, it, I don't, it's not actually using the analog properly. Because I, I'm using the gamepad for the main thing. But I've tried it with analog and it's no better anyway. But yeah, if you're just trying to navigate just from one thing to another it just feels like crap <laughs> so yeah just stick with the gamepad and you'll be happy I may as well take you through my other controls quickly just so I can do this as a we'll just call this the controller video if you want to call it something so as I was uh, you know giving briefly in the other video so joystick is what it is the reason I love this joystick is because I can uh, twist it as well, which is great. It's the main reason I took this joystick over the, uh, what's the other run? The Thrustmaster joystick, because I like being able to do that. It just feels so intuitive. The button here on the side is for my targeting, which there are no, oh no, there are some targets. So if I wanted to lock in something like that, so I just hit that and we can lock in. Sunset in a show. This is going crazy! Ho oh ho! I'm a little scared. I have no weapons. I came out here just to mine. going on <laughs> I 
can't say this game doesn't give you entertainment. Oh, Alright, I'm just going to keep going with this video because this is just driving me nuts. So yeah, my targeting's here. And yeah, I can just... So you can turn it on and off. You can. I've got cycling on my uh, my thruster assembly. Uh, I use my directional pad on the top for doing power distribution, so I can send it to the systems, to weapons, engines, whatever, or I can reset it. I've always had it that way. It works really well. Uh, I've got my um, my top hat for opening menus and things, but honestly, I don't use it anymore. You know, all I have to do is look over now. Or I can look up, like that. It's quite easy. Throttle assembly, pretty standard. I have a reverse thrust button here, which uh, throws the ship into reverse thrust if I need it. I have the emergency stop button on the side here. I use that for my boost. Now to deploy my hard points, uh, all I have to do is pull the trigger. Uh, at the moment I only have a mining laser, but this button here will actually put them away or deploy them depending on what's going on. So basically I just, I freak out and I go, ah, I need weapons. Or I need to put them away, like that. Pretty easy. I couldn't find anything else to do with that button to be honest. Toggle switches galore on this setup, which I love. And so landing gear is this one, first one. We'll put that away. Second one, cargo scoop. Cargo scoop deployed. And the third one is my cargo scoop retracted. Thank you. Third one is my uh, silent running. Silent running. And ship lights. So yeah, lots of toggle switches, Thermal which is great. Restored. And the toggle switch up here, so normally I would throttle up and I have my uh, frame shift drive if I press up and my hyperspace if I press back. And that lines up with when I throttle up the, the engines which works out really well. So it's always near, near my thumb. Um, the little analog directional pad which you probably can't see is uh, just on the inside of my throttle. Assembly, so that's all my uh, thrusters. So we can use that to uh, make minute adjustments depending on what you want to do. Really, really important when you're uh, you're docking. You absolutely need this, and I forgot it's actually not analog; it's uh, digital, which is why I'll be replacing this soon with the X56 because that's going to have analog uh, little controls everywhere so it'll be much easier to uh, do those minute adjustments which is just just great and yeah oh sorry one thing I forgot on the front here uh, normally this would be my uh, secondary weapon but this ship has no secondary weapon uh, none of my ships do yet so basically it's just my flight assist flight assist off if I need it really quickly in a battle and so yeah the ship will just Spin out until I turn it back on. And it's quite disconcerting in VR, I have to say. Flight assist on. And yeah, so this is my uh, my um, ghetto cockpit. I, I basically built this table out of some aluminium extrusion to be to fit my chair. So basically, the armrests flow onto the, the throttle assembly and the joystick so I feel nice and comfortable supported and it also I also set it up so my hands in the game line up with the real controls so it everything feels perfect feels like this is my cockpit and along with the uh, controls you know being able to see everything it all looks looks real great and yeah this uh, this system is just buzzing with activity tonight but if anyone's wondering what I'm actually doing here I'm doing resource extraction
Coltan. Not exciting at all. Anyway, yeah, so... Important to have a keyboard in the middle still. Got your fly controls. I also have my laptop here because sometimes I do need to quickly check up on commodities and some star system locations and things like that. Because, um, yeah, when I'm mining I need to know what's going on when I'm looking for certain resources. So, yeah. Part 2 of the uh, Elite Dangerous series. We're slowly easing into it. We're going to start actually getting into some fun things now. But I just wanted to... The, the, the galaxy map is something that comes up all the damn time in the forums and how to deal with it and I can honestly say the, the Xbox controller is the best way to get around it but your mileage may vary so it is up to you what was that Jesus that was close okay so that'll do this video and we'll see Speak again in part three when we get into some real stuff. We'll find some interesting things to do. Maybe. Mining's not interesting. I'm th at this point, I'm just trying to build up some money with my hauler so I can actually buy a big ship and then we can have, start having the real fun and start exploring. Alrighty. See you on the next video.